Oh, and what is this? Look at you. Definitely injured. You can smell the blood on you from here. Is that yours, or perhaps something else's? Ah, no matter. It's all fun and the same. What a joy it is to have another injured, bleeding little morsel for me to suture. Uh, do I know that you need suturing? Oh, I don't know at all. I simply hope so. It's always fun to hear the little yelps and noises that my patients make. To learn what spots hurt most, and to adapt to them accordingly. Certainly, I am in fact a doctor, trained in Balistan for a spell, healing all manner of terrible injuries. Then why am I here? Well, I came here for one reason, but ended up staying for another. I'm here because I... Because I have to be. I know it's rather dark in here and you might have trouble seeing. But I'm not exactly here of my own volition. <laughs> it's a story that is perhaps best savored another time. Hmm. I'm forgetting something. What was it? Yes, my name. I sometimes forget that I'm allowed such a thing here in the confines of this glamorous prison cell. You can call me Dr. Williams. Or Doctor, if you should prefer. Me? Oh, how... How very kind of you for offering. But I have no preference myself. Most people here at the fort call me Doc or Williams. Sometimes I even get a Will or a Liam, if someone is drunk enough to have only caught the last part of my name. But that's enough of that, Traveler. I do believe that you have some wounds that need tending to. Do you have a slip? Yes, the one that the lovely gentleman at the desk downstairs should have given you. Indeed, indeed, that's the one. Do you mind? Well, the writing is terrible enough that it has to be from our dear friend, the Quartermaster. Must have taken quite a liking to you if you were given this high value of a treatment slip. Indeed, there are different slips that the Quartermaster and people of his, uh, his caliber are allowed to dole out to those that serve beneath them. This slip here is one that is quite valuable. Especially considering that you are new to our lovely little island of Kosovo. New? Why, of course. Anyone here with half an eye would be able to tell that you're not from here. Your clothes aren't yet rotten and you still seem to have all of your teeth. A peculiar specimen you are. Truly magnificent. I only wish that you had more perilous injuries that might need tending to. Again, I am a doctor. If you were in any grave danger, then you and I wouldn't be having this conversation now, would we? Yes, I believe that if you're able to stand and speak with me in a manner such as this, then you must be fine. Or, perhaps you have some hidden strength. A great deal of constitution and strength to be standing with insurmountable wounds beneath your dirty armor. <laughs> of course. The slip here demands that I give you a full examination and ensure that you're fit for service for our dishonorable leader by morning. Please, take a seat over here. Make yourself comfortable, you wonderful little specimen. Ah, patient. <laughs> All right, now let's see to those wounds of yours. Judging by the armor alone, it looks like you've taken quite a beating after all. How exciting. Now let's see to that armor. I'll just... Oh, you can do it yourself. Fine, fine, I'm sorry. I just get so excited to see what afflicts my patients. It's like opening an exquisitely 
grotesquely wrapped gift. While you deal with that, I'll just be here, observing. Don't make that face at me. I must log down everything I can about you to ensure that I'm able to assess what treatments you might require, or which might kill you. I couldn't be bothered either way. So you can be rest assured that at the very least I hold no stock in whether you live or die. Not a threat, Traveler. Though I guess you can take it however you'd like. <laughs> oh, I like the fire that you have in you. So much burning you from the inside out. I'm so excited to see what I need to fix with you. It'll be a fun experience. For me, at least. Wondering whether I'll get to use my toys or not is half the fun. But don't keep me waiting too long. Off with that armor so I can see what warranted you being here. Impatient? No, 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 nothing of the sort. Excited. Oh, oh, this is just marvelous. Decent physique, unweathered hands, a lack of scarring. Oh, I guess that'll change today. <laughs> Oh, such very, very pretty features. Say, do you think that I could have one of your eyes? Yes, of course, I'm serious. I would never joke about such a thing. So, what do you say? Just one eye. I'll pay you handsomely for it. No? Hmm, well, that's a shame. But if you should ever change your mind, I would love to have it added to my collection. Why do I want it in the first place? It's quite simple, really. I adore studying life and death. And what better place to start than in the bodies of living, the dead, and, if luck should have it, the undead. No matter where I look, there is potential for discovery and for progress in my research as a doctor as a student of the medical arts, and Yargan bless me. The Blackwater is a beautiful theater of destruction, rife in exquisite little trinkets for me to take in lessons to be learned. So yes, quite simple, I'm afraid. <laughs> From a preliminary understanding of the magnitude of your injuries, it doesn't seem like you're in any serious trouble physically, but this gash on your arm would you like to have it amputated? Are you sure? I know that I could suture it and that would be terribly fun for me. But I could perhaps have it replaced with something more... Functional. A weaponized prosthetic, perhaps. <laughs> if you say so. Just know that the option is always there if you ever change your mind. Ah, uh, disinfectant and the like for these wounds. Festering wounds are a joy to treat, but it wouldn't bode well for me if you were to suffer too terribly on your first visit. Well, this is Blackwater, Traveler. If I've seen you here once, chances are that our paths will cross again. For the treatment, I believe some anesthetics are in order. The cuts and bruising aren't serious, but the process and remedying the injuries you've sustained will be quite painful, I'm afraid. Oh, I definitely wouldn't mind if you turned down such a thing. Oh, no reason. I believe that you'll make a full recovery in a week or so. Quite quickly, yes. My medicines that I create here in this little room of mine are quite potent. And after being here so, so long, I can tell you with certainty that their effectiveness has increased with my practice over the years. Oh, many, many years, Traveler. Far more than I would care to admit. One thing you must agree to is that you return to me seven days from now. Yes, so I can check in and see how well the treatments are working.
Come now, I'm a student of medicine. While observing you again would be wonderful for my research, I do genuinely wish to see the efficacy of my work. Studying death doesn't necessarily mean I wish it upon you. Besides, there is enough death here as is. Having a living, breathing subject to return to me time to time to work on, that is far more valuable to me. Though, speaking of death, I have a proposition for you should you wish to hear it. <laughs> Nothing involving you, I'm afraid, no. You seem to have turned me down thus far. I learned my lessons. Slowly, but I learned them. When you're out there in the real world, if for whatever reason you should find yourself in the situation where the bodies of the dead are available to you, would you bring them to me? I'll pay you quite well for anything you can find, be it Hunda or human. I need them for my research, of course. I can't go out and procure such materials myself, but I can, however, offer you gold and other little trinkets in exchange for your services. <laughs> Think about it. Yes, one request I do have is that you keep this potential deal clandestine. Nothing too important, no. I would just rather it be that the others here don't grow squeamish of entering my office or fear of me any more uh, than they already do. There are other reasons, yes, but we shall discuss them in due time. For now, you have wounds that need tending to, and I have work that needs to be done. We'll first start with your anesthetic. Please, hold still for me, my beautiful little specimen. These injuries won't heal themselves, and I shan't take more than a few moments to contend with such trivial maladies.